it's still on my mind. I just felt like the right album title just to say that, you know, music's still on my mind and I miss it. I wanna wake up with your way by my side. I never stop writing. It's just sort of part of my life. It's sort of part of how I see the world is, is through songs. This album was actually like a really, really natural album to make. I just started really missing working with my brother and um, and so I called him up one morning and was literally like, look, I'd love to make another record, but I only want to make it if it's with you. The whole record is, is very electronic based, harking back to all the music that I love, because I just love dance music. It's where I come from, it's where I started. I was a backing vocalist with Faithless. I was singing on various dance tracks, some of which I hope never come to light. So even if a song is actually a sort of slow song, it might have like dance sounds on it. And um, But yeah, there's some also just some out and out dance tracks on the album and Take You Home is one of them. It's an idea that was going around in my head for a long time and, and just about, you know, how no one's really got it that sorted you know you, we look at people and it's like oh they seem to know what they're doing and I don't and I'm not sure that many other people do <laughs> well some people do <laughs> not me <laughs> some kind of love is actually some lyrics of, of Rollo's that I found and then just sat on the guitar writing the song because I just thought they were beautiful and they're just telling a story I, what I love about Rollo's lyrics is they're just full of images and poetry and I, I always just see a film when when um you know when I read his lyrics and and this to me is like a sort of dusty old movie and sort of quite nostalgic and you know sort of bittersweet which a lot of the songs are. My favourite song on the record sort of changes daily I think probably the one that um is maybe the most emotional to me is uh, Have To Stay which is the last song on the album and um and that was actually the song that just started the whole ball rolling for the album I sort of hadn't written much that I thought was any good um I'd written a lot of songs after I had my son but I don't know I just felt like my brain had sort of gone elsewhere and um and then one day I just thought you know what I'm just gonna write a song about how I feel and the love that I have, you know, that unconditional love that you have for a kid. And then I'll just throw it away and we're done. You know, I've got it out of my system. And um, anyway, I wrote this song, Have To Stay, which which I just love and I'm, I'm proud of. And it still moves me and, and, and he loves it too. Of all the things in my life, you know, I just get so much sort of happiness from, from, from being a mum. Musically, it does a lot of things. It actually has given me like this huge confidence that I probably didn't have when I was making records like No Angel or Life of Red. I often see where I wrote songs or where I made, made albums when I think back at them and and then you sort of have a feeling like No Angel was sort of made in my in my little flat at the time. I really did not think anyone would hear it. No one thought anyone would hear it. It's a bit of an experiment, it's a little bit fragile, you know, it's it's my first attempt at sort of making music like that. And Life for Rent what I see is is sort of why it, it takes me back so much to the studio we were in, surrounded by friends. I'd just come back off tour, there's a real sort of confidence to that record. It's a much more sort of coherent record in a way, you know, there's a sound there that, that sort of stayed. Safe Trip Home is, is a little, you know, it's a darker record, it's a sadder record. It was written at a time where, you know, my dad had, my dad had passed away and I was feeling, you know, pretty sort of knocked about by that. And, um, and it's a sort of very emotional record and actually one that I decided not to tour because cause it was sort of, there were some hard songs to sing on there. And, and then Girl Who Got Away is, I don't know, it's sort of like, um, there's, it's a lighter record and, you know, I had a new baby and I was pregnant actually when I was, was singing that whole record. So I had this sort of lovely feeling when I listened to that record of like, you know, my son was like there the whole time while I was singing. And actually when, when I would sing the songs to him when he was out, and a baby, <laughs> you know, he recognised them. It was so bizarre. Like he, he sort of almost recognised a lot of those songs, and um, so that that's what that album was. And then this album just feels just there's a sort of strength in it, and and it's sort of a confidence. There's a happiness about it, and um, and a sort of you know, a, an, it's emotional as well. The things that I missed were singing the songs to people who really enjoy what you do. Like I, I genuinely miss those moments, but um, now I've actually started sort of 
singing them to people again, you get that real rush of excitement. It's almost like I sort of forgot what forgot what touring was for a minute, and um, and now I'm remembering, and it just feels like the most exciting part of all this for me. You know, that's the sort of new exciting part. On the one hand, I really feel like I'm starting again and I've got all of that anticipation and excitement, and real enjoyment actually of sort of just starting again, but with the confidence of, of, you know, I've done this and always loved it. Yeah, it just feels really fresh to me and, and you know, I didn't mean to leave it quite as long without touring, but um, in a funny sort of way, it's made this point in my life now like beyond exciting. <laughs>